Okay. So if you remember, in one of the very first episodes, back when this was not the Circuit Had Run video podcast, when this was the Quick Nuclear Science Weekly show, I showed you guys this. Laser tag. Okay, it's the first gun, and um, I'll give you a quick demo here. If I can find some batteries. Um, one sec. Let's see. One battery. Um, oh, lost the battery. Okay, found one. Anyway, um, so if you don't remember, you can take a look at that anyways. Anyway, if we were to um, put in the batteries, you'll see on the screen that on these ones, um, what I showed you in the beginning, I call that night mode, okay? The mode has now been scrapped, no longer in existence. I'm just screwing in the battery case here. Because it required you to hit these little sensors point like on a little tiny point, which was really stupid. So now, what they do is they have what I call day mode, which uses this thing, the um, emitter from an infrared... Oh, it's on. Okay. So you see this thing pl flashing purple right here? That is, wh what that is, is one of these. It's like a cheapo IR remote I got from SparkFun. That's what it looks like on the inside. What I've done is I've cut off one of these LEDs, the one that works. On every single one of these remotes, one LED works and one doesn't. So I've cut off the one that works and then just taken one of um, the LED and then put it on a wire. Then you just hot glue the um, coin cell battery down. And then you find, you know, the button, um, the button that you want to use. So in this case, I'm, I forget which one I was using. I might have been using this one here. Then I found the two little, you know, um, black contacts. You know, there's like on the top, there's all these little black contacts, you know. And I uh, took the trace and I used an X-Acto knife to scrape off the trace and solder to the copper that's under the trace. And then I just soldered that to one of these triggers. So if you can see on the screen, um, 12 hits. Um, that's because I have other guns on right now that I can turn on. Anyway, um, you may or may not remember this one. I'm not sure if I showed it to you guys. Anyway, it's the same, but here is the uh, newest one which evidently is not working for some reason. If I can get it to turn on, I will. I, I'm having battery pack issues. Um, these battery packs, these ones, right here, they suck. Don't buy them. They have like 9-volt battery connectors, and they always melt, and um, yeah, they really suck, so don't get it. They're from BG Micro. Do not buy them. They suck. There we go. Okay, the screen is going to be upside down, but Jacob's laser tag, have fun, it says. So now you can see that it's going to have zero hits. And it has a sensor just like this one right there. This is another sensor you can buy from SparkFun. And um, you can see it says, hits one, number one hit you last. So it can tell whose gun hits you. Now at more than 30 feet, the range of these guns is 40 feet-ish, at more than like 20 feet, the signal becomes a bit too jumbled for this to tell which gun is this, which one. So it can only tell that if you've got hit. But at closer ranges, it can tell. So anyway, the way it works is just pulling the trigger is essentially pushing the button for an IR remote. Okay, like um, this one here. And so, you know, um, this trigger is the same as pushing the button. This receiver is like the TV, and um, it receives a signal. It's like a 38 kilohertz modulated um, IR receiver, TSOP 382 or something like that. I don't know. It's, it's on SparkFun. 
um, spark fun sells them these things they're pretty cheap you know there's like two bucks then you connect it to the Arduino and I use the spark fun example code for it um, they're in the related products for this I don't know what these receivers are so I use spark fun's example code and um, basically what I did is if it senses that you basically you know which button on the remote you've soldered to so say you soldered to the power button like I said earlier by scraping off the top of it with the traces and soldering the copper you know that when the power button is pressed that must be you shooting so you ignore it when anything else is pressed even if you receive an error message then you know it must not be you because you won't receive an error message with your own shot you'll only receive an error message on somebody else's shot if they bounce it off a wall or something so I count error messages and I count um, pretty much anything is, is game anything that's not your own shot so I basically uh, the code that's going to be on the website is basically um, if um, like basically uh, if the if the power button is received then not shot everything else uh, you receive a hit the LCD here tells you how many hits you have so this is, it can't tell if you hit somebody else or not and it can't tell if you've shot, but it can tell how many times you've got hit. It uses one of the uh, SparkFun um, 16 by 2 LCD serial things that has an Arduino in it, and then just takes that Arduino, and um, I reprogrammed it to be laser tag. Now, nothing, nothing special with this gun. These guns are very simple on the inside. There's really just the remote, which has, you know, solder two, like I've said earlier, the receiver, and the screen. So I'll shoot it a couple of times. Keep in mind that for this, IR does bounce off walls. Um, but it's a really simple project, and it's, it's quite easy to build. As you can see, I built this out of old water guns. I just have a switch for turning it on and off, and a cheapo battery pack. Do not use these battery packs, as I said before. They suck. So... That's laser tag. I have this third gun that I can't find the, the battery for, but all in all, it works as well. Um, so it's a lot of fun to play with my brothers and my friends and stuff, and it, it, it's a lot of fun to, you know, not have to go, like, you know, 50 miles away or whatever to play laser tag. I know it's not that far. I'm exaggerating, but still, I can play whenever I want. And it runs on these um, rechargeable nickel metal hydride batteries gets about an hour it can it it's it's ran for two days straight but at that point you can't read the screen um, and what I've done for the batteries is I've just put a diode in series just you know to uh, keep the voltage below 5.5 volts which is just about the maximum the screen can handle the microcontroller can do about six but you know um, anyway that's really it no nothing complicated aside from the there's the diode, you just assemble the screen that comes in a kit with the Arduino and then you solder up the um, detector to power, ground, and a digital pin and you solder up the remote like I said earlier, tape in the coin cell battery and flick the switch and you're ready to go and then there's also the main trigger. Anyways. It's, it's a very simple game, you know, code is very simple, it just basically says if you've been hit, you know, like I said earlier, and then if you've been hit, update the screen. Um, that's really all I can think to say for laser tag. it is a really cool project, and we'll have a project post on the blog. It's, it's my favorite project that I've done so far, I mean, I do those, those guys, my little um, voltmeter thing particle um, accelerator things. Um, they were originally going to have that for the night mode, but um, seeing as this thing, it, you can just bounce it around somebody unless you're really far away. IR is very bouncy, that's why you don't actually have to aim the TV yourself exactly at the um, TV. To get to anyway, that's, that's laser tag. can't really think of what else to say, so... Thanks for watching, and if you want me to say something, I will say it, so comment. Um, bye.